Friedrich Nietzsche was a German philosopher, cultural critic and philologist whose work has exerted a profound influence on in modern intellectual history. Friedrich Nietzsche said it is not a lack of love but a lack of friendship that makes unhappy marriages. Lack of love, from where the lack of love came? The lack of love came because they were not sitting together. When you sit together without any anything you expect in return, then you go with the cup empty. You always go to your husband with the cup empty. You always go with your, your wife with the cup empty. That's what Zen kept on telling. You go to a master with the cup empty. Otherwise, how will the master pour fresh coffee or fresh water into your cup. The cup is dirty and you drink that water, you get a different bad taste. Frederick Nietzsche said it's not a lack of love. There's not a lack of love. Where you are married for what? For love. And hardly you discuss love. That's where most of the families crashed. They were not discussing. Discussion is the greatest part of every uh, practical growth, even including the teachers and the students. Discussion was not the one-way traffic. Families crashed, joint families crashed, family trees crashed because the head of the family was not discussing. They were throwing commands. The great, great kingdoms crashed because there was no discussion. Yes, discussing is very important before you throw an order, before you try to put anything in into place. Redignish said, it is not a lack of love, but lack of friendship, yes, that makes unhappy marriages. Friendship is very important. When you look into the eyes, yes, each other. You don't even look into the eyes. Try that one, look into the eyes, nose, yes. Massage each other. When you talk to each other, when you listen to each other, when you cook together, when you take baths together, when you eat from the same plate, when you hold your hands and discuss and go for a long walk, there is the start of warming up, stretching and an orgasmic experience. All diseases vanishes, all fear vanishes, only intellectual beauty comes in that friendship, in that love. You have decided to be one, not two. Uh, one. Husband and wife melt together to become one. Try that one. That in that one, you can see a power. Husband is a thousand man power. Wife is a thousand man woman. Thousand power woman. Together it becomes two thousand and two thousand. Discussing and talking in one voice is a beautiful music. It's a duet. Yes, it's a fusion in the music. And in that music, when a child is born. You have enough space and time. When you don't have space and time, any building can crack. Smallest space, smallest crack can destroy the building. Yes. So try to find time. That time is more powerful than any other overtime salaries. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you will go to the doctor for diseases because you are not getting time to sit. Rush up to sit, rush up to hold together, rush up to hug together and sleep and discuss together, sit bump to bump, eat from the same plate. You feed your husband, husband always feed wife. That is very, very important. Do not forget that Frederick Nietzsche said, it is not a lack of love, but lack of friendship that makes unhappy marriages. Let us together avoid divorces. Smile at each other. Yes. Drop before you go to your husband. Before you go to the wife, go with the empty heart. Yes. So you can smile beautifully. You can sing beautifully.